Hello students, good morning. See, in previous video, we have seen one activity which is present in your book. What is that activity? The activity is, what is the effect of speed and direction on the velocity? See, in previous video, we have studied what is the actual effect of speed and direction occur on the velocity. There are possible three cases for this. First one is the when we keep constant speed and changes direction. Second one is the we keep direction same and changes speed. And third one is the both changes means speed also increases or decreases and direction is also increases uh, sorry direction is also changes means in this way these three cases are affected by on the velocity this activity we have seen in the previous video see i have already told you your book is activity based book or your subject is activity based subject this activity helps you to understand the concept the definition the laws very easily see in this video there are also one activity which are uh, present in your book so let's see what is that activity see here uh, here is the one chart for you and here is the uh, on based on that chart four questions for you see here is the time okay here is the distance covered by three persons first one is the amar second one is the akbar and third one is the anthony see here if we can see the time the time is 5 o'clock then 5:30 then 6 then 6:30 then 7 then 7:30 and then 8 okay distance covered by amar distance covered by amar is in kilometer see at 5 o'clock he covered sorry at 5 o'clock to 550 in between these means in 30 minutes he covered 20 kilometer distance again uh, next 30 minutes he also covered uh, he again covered 20 kilometers like this each 30 minute he covered 20 20 minutes distances here is the 20 kilometer here is the 40 kilometer here is the 60 kilometer here is the 80 kilometer here is the 100 kilometer and here is the 120 kilometer see if we can see the time interval time interval is a same time interval how much uh, time interval the distance is uh, how much 30 minutes difference is a 30 minutes see what about the Akbar? Akbar covered the at 5 o'clock, he covered at 5 o'clock and 5.50, he covered 18 kilometer distance. After that, he covered 36 kilometer. Here is the distance increases. Here is the also increases. But here is the, if we can see, if we can say, the distances are not in an equal these distances covered by Akbar is unequal. Here is 18. 18 plus 18, 36. Again, here is the 42. Means here is the unequality. We can say, you can see the unequality between the distance covered by the Akbar. And what about the Anthony? In between 5 and 5.30 o'clock, he covered 14 kilometer distance. Again, in between 5.50 to 6 o'clock, he covered 28 kilometer distance. Means, if you can see, what we can, you can see, see the distances covered by Anthony in a same time interval are a same, equal distances. See, uh, 14, 28, 42, 56, 70 and 84. Like this. This is a activity in your book and this is a chart for that activity. See, here is the time covered by all three and distance covered by all three persons is in kilometer. See, now uh, we will learn the question based on this activity. See, what is the first question is the 
what is the time interval between the notings of distance made by amar akbar and anthony see what is the question the question is what is the time interval what is the time interval between the notings of distance made by amar akbar and anthony see here how much time interval here 5 to 550 again 6 to uh, sorry 550 to 6 o'clock 6 to 630 630 to 7 7 to 730 730 to 8 o'clock means how much time interval here here is the half an hour or you can say 30 minutes half an hour or 30 minutes see this is the answer of first question see what is the question number 2 question number 2 who has covered equal distances in equal time interval see what is the question who has covered who has covered equal distances in equal time interval see who has covered equal distances if uh, if uh, we can see the distances covered by amar is equal in a equal time interval okay here is the 5 to 536 5 to 36 and distances covered by what is the difference between these two 20 km these two 20 km in each distance distance is a difference is the 20 km so amar covered equal distance in equal time interval what about the akbar see here is the 18 km here is a 36 km here is the 42 km here is the 17 km here is a not the equality here is a not equal distances covered by equal time interval time interval is equal but distances covered in equal time interval is a not a equal here is the unequal distances see what about in case of anthony see at 5 to 550 He covered 14 kilometer. Again, he covered 28 kilometer. Again, 42, 56, 70, and 84. Here is the equal distances in equal time interval. So, the answer of question number two is the who has covered the Amar and Anthony covered equal distances in equal time interval. who has covered the amar and anthony covered equal distances in equal time interval see question number 3 are the all the distances covered by akbar in the fixed time interval see what is the question are all the distances covered by akbar in the fixed time interval see what is the answer here no the distances covered by akbar are not in a fixed time interval see here is the distances are unequal so here we can write not a fixed are not same okay and the question number 4 is what we can what we can say about their speeds what we can say about their speed who speed amar akbar and anthony speed see uh, by studying this chart or by uh, understanding this chart we can conclude that the distances covered by amar and anthony has a equal distances and equal time interval okay but the distance covered by akbar is not equal in he cover unequal distance in equal time interval see what i say the distances covered by 
अमर एंड एंथनी आर इक्वल आर इक्वल इन इक्वल टाइम इंटरवल एंड द डिस्टन्स कवर्ड बाय अकबर आर नॉट इक्वल कि वह डिस्टन्स सॉरी और द डिस्टन्स कवर्ड बाय अकबर आर अनइक्वल इन इक्वल टाइम इंटरवल सी हियर इज दी टू पॉसिबिलिटीज फर्स्ट वन इज दी डिस्टन्स कवर्ड बाय अमर एंड एंथनी आर इक्वल इन इक्वल टाइम इंटरवल एंड सेकेंड द डिस्टन्सेस कवर्ड बाय अकबर आर अनइक्वल इन इक्वल टाइम इंटरवल what we can say when such type of conditions happen the concept said to be these are two terms or these are two terminologies are known as uniform motion and non uniform motion see what is uniform motion and non uniform motion see which one is the uniform motion and what is the non uniform motion we have already seen one activity based on that activity what is the activity we have seen amar and anthony having uniform speed but akbar having uh, akbar not having uniform speed so what is the definition of uniform motion is uniform motion means when an object when an object moving in or when an object covered equal distance equal distance in equal time interval at that time the object said to be in a uniform motion what is the definition when an object covered equal distance in equal time interval here is the these underlined word is a very important what's what uh, what is the definition when an object covered equal distance in equal time interval then uh, what are the examples of uniform motion first one is the See, the Earth revolve around the Sun. It is a uniform motion. It is an example of uniform motion. Earth revolve around the Sun. It is an example of uniform motion. Second one is the an electron revolve around the nucleus in a constant speed and electron revolve around the nucleus in a constant speed see number third third one is the a rotating fan or a moving fan in a constant speed constant speed a car moving through straight road a car moving on a straight moving along straight road with constant speed or constant velocity these are called as the examples are called as uniform motion example see what is the definition when an object covered equal distance in equal time interval at that time object said to be in a uniform motion then what is non uniform motion in previous uh, activity we have seen akbar having non uniform speed okay means there is a very little difference between uniform and non uniform motion see what i write here 
same definition what is the change see here is the when an object covered equal distance in equal time interval in case of non uniform motion we can write here when an object is covered an equal distance an equal distance in equal time interval at that time the object said to be in a non uniform motion what are the example of non uniform motion first one is the when we sorry first example is the bouncing ball the bouncing ball see why is the uh, i take here the example of bouncing ball see bouncing ball are not a uh, revolve in a uh, sorry or not a, the speed is not a constant speed at some time he stop their motion okay therefore the example is the bouncing ball second one is the the car moving in crowded area crowded area see what is the difference between this example this example and this example see when uniform motion a car moving in a moving along a stra straight road with constant speed and in case of non uniform motion what we can write here the example the car moving in a crowded area because there is a uh, crowded area the speed is a not a constant so it is said to be in a non uniform motion the third example is running athletics athletics running in a race okay here is the also one example for non uniform motion see in this video we have seen the uniform motion and non uniform motion with the help of the activity present in your book see uh, i want to tell you again the uniform motion is nothing but the what is the difference between these two uniform motion when an object covered equal distance in equal time interval and in case of non uniform motion an object covered sorry unequal distance in equal time interval we will stop here remaining part we will see in the next video thank you